Alright, thanks for watching. And one of the main uses of bases is that they allow us to find coordinates, which are neater ways of representing points. And needless to say, coordinates is one of the most important things in math because geometry is just a study of nicer coordinates. So let's do a simple question with this. So suppose you have a basis, let's call it B of R2, which is 1, 1, 2, minus 1. Maybe let me draw this just so again later we can visualize what's going on. So we have the vector 1, 1, and we have the vector 2 minus 1. So maybe somewhere here. And suppose this is sort of your new frame of reference. And again, this is so useful, for example, in crystallography as well, or I think in relativity, just a new way of uh, finding, uh, of viewing your space. And also, you know, in calculus, change of variables, all that this is, is just a, a change of coordinates. Except in that case, it's a nonlinear change of coordinates. So, and let's do two questions with this. And by the way, at the end, I'll explain why bases are so important for that. First of all, suppose I give you the coordinates of a certain point x. Let's find that point x. So find x given that the coordinates of x with respect to b are 3, 2. Okay, weird notation. All that this means is, and think of it as a treasure hunt, to find x, you need to go three steps in this direction and two steps in this direction. So literally, the definition of this, it means that x is three times your first vector, so the order is important, plus two times the second vector, 2 minus 1. And if you calculate that, you get, I think, 7 and 1. And indeed, let's check that in our graph. So suppose you go two steps this way, you get this point, and three steps this way, so one, two, three, you should get roughly, and you see it's roughly true, that you get the point seven, one. And Here's how I want to think about this, because I actually got the revelation when I went to a grocery store, because I saw, you know, the grocery person, she, he or she was um, um, scanning my items, and I thought, oh my God, this is like coordinates, because you have to think of X as this abstract item, this abstract vector you want to find, then XB, it's like the barcode. So I'm sort of telling you, hey, the barcode is 3, 2. What is your item? And turns out your item here is 7, 1. Here it doesn't really make sense because we have vectors in R2, but it turns out you can make this abstract with vector spaces, and you do have this idea of barcode lying around. Okay, so here we found the item given a barcode, so we scanned the item, which was easy. Now we want to do the opposite, namely, we want to produce a certain barcode. So given this abstract item, let's uh, make a barcode for this. And you'll see it's slightly harder to do, but yet not impossible. So find, now find xp given x is 5 minus 1. So suppose you have this vector 5 minus 1. The question is, how many steps in this direction and how many steps in this direction do you have to go to get 5 minus 1, which is roughly here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe here, and then minus 1 is here. And again. Question is how many steps would you have to go? And maybe you can already see this. So it almost looks like 
you have to go one step here and two steps here. But let's see how we can do this. So find this, given that, what this means. Suppose the barcode is just AB. This means you have to go A steps in the first direction and B steps in the second direction to get this vector. Then A times 1, 1 plus B times 2 minus 1 equals 5 minus 1. And those things, well, we want to find. So WTF means one to find. And notice, this just ends up solving a system of equations. So all we need to do, we want to solve 1, 1, 2, minus 1. AB equals 5 minus 1. So again, we just need to solve a system of equations where this is x, this is your barcode, and this matrix, where you just put your two things together, sometimes it's called a change of coordinates matrix. Of coordinates matrix. Matrix, in this case, what it does, it goes from the basis B to the regular standard basis. So it's sometimes called a change of coordinates matrix from B to the standard basis. And you really should think of it as a barcode scanner. It takes a barcode as an input and it tells you which item it is. Okay, once we have that, let's solve this. So let's just row reduce. One, two, one minus one, one, five minus one. Okay, you row reduce, so let's subtract this row from this row. So one, two, five, zero, and then minus three, and then minus six. Well, yes, row echelon form, but since you actually want to solve it, you have to use the reduced row echelon form. So let's turn this pivot into one, and then we get one, two, five, zero, one, two, and then turn this two into a zero, so turn the frown upside down, and we get, I think, one, zero, zero, one, and I think one, two. So indeed, what we wanted to find is that A is one and B is two, so your coordinates of X with respect to B are one, two. And let's just verify this visually. So if you go, one step in this direction, and then two steps in this direction, so may it look something like that, then indeed you get our vector x. So cool. So in other words, what do we need to know? It's easy to read off a barcode because you just plug in the numbers here. It's harder to produce barcodes because you need to uh, you know, actually solve a system of equations. Lastly, one thing I wanted to say, why is it important that we have a basis? Well, let me give you two situations where you don't have a basis. Suppose you have the set 1, 0 and 2, 0. Suppose this is B. Then what are the coordinates of X? Where X is the vector, I don't know, 0, 3. What this means is, can you find A and B such that you get A steps in one direction and B steps in this direction to get 0, 3? Well, if you actually compare this, it gives you 0 equals 3, so this does not have a solution. In particular, what happened here was, this set didn't span all of R2, so, in particular, 0, 3, you cannot write coordinates of this. So if you have this thing, uh, again, 1, 0, and 0, 2, and 2, 0, well, 
how many steps in those directions you have to take to get this vector, it's not possible. So what happened here was um, this does not span. Now, suppose we take something as linearly dependent. Let's say 1, 0, 0, 1, and 2, 0. Then the question is, what are the coordinates of x where x is 3, 0? Um, well, the question is, or maybe let me modify this a little bit. So let's take this basis. No, again, not a basis, but let's take this thing. The question is, well, how many steps would you need to take in 1, 0, and 2, 0 to get 3, 0? Well, on the one hand, would you take uh, three steps in this direction to get this? So the question is, on the one hand, is xb uh, 3, 0? Well, yes, because indeed you would have to take three steps in this direction and zero steps in this direction to get your vector 3, 0. On the other hand, well, you could say that no, xb would be 1, 1 because you would have to take one step in the direction 1, 0 and one step in the direction 2, 0 to get 3, 0. So in other words, here, interestingly, our vector x, the same vector, has two different barcodes. And since you want a unique barcode, ideally, we need to have their set to be linearly independent. So what happened here was this set was linearly dependent, so stuff went wrong. And again, in terms of pictures, we have, I guess, the vector 3, 0, and then 1, 0, and 2, 0. On the one hand, what you could do, you can take three steps in the, this direction and no steps in this direction to get this. Or you can take one step in this direction and one step in this direction to get this. And ideally, we would like to have exactly one way of getting uh, to the point 3, 0. So that would be nice. And, and yes, so that's all I wanted to say about coordinates. If you like this and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.